Alright, hey guys, how's it going? Space here. Let's uh, drive right in. It's Friday, dudes. Let's go. Venezia, such a beautiful city. So many sources of inspiration. Ponte di Rialto, Piazza San Marco, L'Arsenale. What's wrong? We're not alone. Oh, hey. What's, What's happening? Up? Who are they? Rodrigo Borgia's men. Why? What do they want with us? I think they want us dead. Ah, maybe. Alright, hide in there, my boy. Oh, hey, you guys right off the cliff for automatically. Yep. They're trying to climb on board. Knock them off. Enzo, someone's on top. The shark turns to make the carriage load. Ah, lol. Ha ha ha. Get knocked off, boy. Just how many of these guys are there, man? What are you doing? Watch out. Don't let the carriage roll off. Why not, though? Sorry, Leonardo. Oh, hey, what's up? Ha, got him good. Oh, hey. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> dead. Oh, boy. For the fire and flames, we carry on. Uh oh. Sorry. Hot wheels, get it? Huh. Alrighty. Oh no. <laughs> Bye. Oh boy. Come on, boy, stop. Ha, <laughs> okay. Go, Leonardo. They are here for me, not you. And catch up with you later. All right, we now come back. Dang it, man. Oof.
Ha! Try to get out of here now, boy. Oh, he's trying. He's trying. He's trying too hard. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Ha! Lol. Thank you very much for the horse. I will never return it. Ha! Huh. Beat up events unlocked. Oh. Alright, let's go. There's also a tomb in here, which is cool. Alright. Ah, Venice. Nice and gloomy right now. Sorry, horse. All right, here we go. What are those green boys over there? All right. Hmm. Nice jog for the city, you know. Nice peaceful day. Totally didn't just kill like a bunch of people. Very recently. Oh. Short cut. Cut short. Alrighty. Dang it. I don't want to swim. Dang it, it's you. Okay, sure. I'm trying to hop on those, but I guess not. Whatever. Wait, is this Venice? I don't know. I feel like it might not be. There's a lot of water, though, so. Oh, hey, what's up, Leonardo? How you doing, pal? Thank you, Ezio. You saved my life. I did what had yep. to be done. You would have done the same. I doubt it. Bravery is wow, the most I owe you a dead brother. Di niente. Tutti a bordo! Fra poco si salpa! That's our traghetto. Venezia waits. Where's your pass? What pass? You don't have a pass? You cannot enter Venezia without a pass. Who invited you? Your mom? Uh, nobody. Basta! No pass, no entrance. Don't no pass, no entrance. I'll come up with something. Don't uh. just stand there. I need help. Can you not swim, boy? No. <laughs> All right. Where? Okie dokie. Let's get a boat and let's get on here. Maybe I can just, uh, you know, instead of actually helping her, just, uh, you know, huh, 
uh, power the boats to uh, Valencia. Yeah. No. Nice peaceful ride in the wake. Ha, <laughs> just kidding, gotta go fast, dudes. I was thinking the same thing, honestly. Yo, what up? Madonna. Oh, you're good. The ladies must like you. Oh, yeah, they do. I wasn't looking to impress. Only to help someone in distress. Which is exactly why you impress. Ah. Uh. Auditore. But please, call me Ezio. Mm. I'm Caterina. Now, Ezio, we must find you suitable reward. Oh. Do you have any suggestions? There is perhaps something you could help me with. Oh. It's your tower, man. Yes, Signora. Whatever you say, Signora. He won't trouble you anymore. I took care of it. Thank you, Katarina. Perhaps we'll see each other again. Should you ever find yourself in the city of Forli, it would be my pleasure to welcome you. Oh. I look forward to enjoying your hospitality. Please accept my most humble apologies, Messere. Had I known. <laughs> it's quite alright, my friend. Uh, and then suddenly they just get a bunch of money. Be careful, Ezio. Do you know who that was? No. My next conquest. <laughs> uh, I don't think so, Ezio. That's Caterina Sforza, daughter of the Duca di Milano. Her husband is... Husband? See, si, her husband is the Lord of Forli. That woman is as powerful and dangerous as she is young and beautiful. Are you just jealous? Come me una donna per me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's you. Look for white sheets to start. Okay. What? All right. It's Renaissance. Are we always going? <laughs> You're making amazing progress. Amazing is quite a strong word. Amazing is quite a strong word. Stopping? Prolonged exposure to the animus can have uh, weed. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> awesome. It's nothing to worry huh. about. You haven't shown any of the symptoms. Symptoms? What oh. symptoms? Degradation of cognition, temporal hallucinations. Multiple awareness issues, overlapping realities. Mm. You know. So what you're saying is what we're saying, Desmond, is if you're not careful, you may not need the animus to visit with your ancestors. Uh. It wouldn't be a bad thing, assuming you could control it. Up until now, though, no one has. Thanks, Sean. Sixteen. We have safeguards, Desmond, and they kept him in the animus for way too long. Sometimes days at a time. We're being careful with you. I hope so. I've been in here for like what a month or so since we started this week. Skill retention. See if you've picked up some of Ezio's abilities. I'm game. Great. Meet me downstairs when you're ready. Huh. All right. Look at that fan. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. Sean, how you doing, boy? Yeah, actually, let's go talk to Sean. He's obviously looking forward to this. Sean, what's up? What could sixteen have found that needs so much secrecy and security? Oh, I don't know, do I? Lucy thinks it's something about the Codex, but I'm not so sure. I'm all ears if it's as life-changing as Sixteen says. Blimey, if I was allowed to use the Animus, I'd be the one in there finding out. Hmm. Instead, as usual, I'm forced to sit here on the sidelines. Thanks, Sean. What are you up to? What am I up to? Who are you? My mum? Yeah. I've been running traces on the Codex pages, looking to see if any of them are still around. And? Nothing concrete. Reports of one in the archives of the National Central Library in Florence. Maybe a few in the hands of collectors. Probably Templars. I'd send someone to check it out, but we're very short on manpower. How do you think the Codex wound up in Italy? I mean, it seems so random. Dante Alighieri by way of Marco Polo. Seriously? 
something happened in 1321, yeah? Now, I'm still working on making the connections, but from what I can tell, Polo encountered the assassins while visiting Kubla Khan. This right, this must be when he obtained the Codex. Now, when he returned to Italy, he passed it on to Dante. Dante was close to him, if not an assassin himself. Now, I've no idea what brought the two of them together, but I'll tell you what. I reckon we could find out. I don't think Lucy wants us messing with the Animus. Yeah, you're right. We've got enough to deal with. I guess satisfying my curiosity will have to wait. Yeah, buddy. What does he have for me? Show me the How war. You get mixed up in all this. Most assassins, Desmond, are like you. Yeah, they're born into the Brotherhood. Not me. Was born, Catboys. Uh, here we go. What? He asked. Anyway, I've always been a big fan of the unexplained. There's something exciting there, you know? A sense that life is more interesting, more mysterious than we've been raised to believe. So what, you just stumbled across the assassins? No. I found the Templars first, actually. Abstergo is a big company. It's too big, which means there were slip-ups. You know, like that mess they're having right now with the fluoride. Only I was tracking this stuff years ago. I must have been, what, 14, 15? You knew Abstergo was a Templar company? No. Not at first. I just knew they were up to no good, and I figured maybe I could do something about it. So I started digging up everything I could on the company, posting stuff to news groups, trying to spread the word, looking for people who might have stories to tell. You must have gotten Abstergo's attention. Well, fortunately, I got Rebecca's first. Otherwise, I'd probably be at the bottom of a river. You're welcome. Yeah, she tried to warn me, told me I was messing with the wrong kind of people. And what did you do? I thought you were mental. But now you know better. Yep, yeah, now I know you're just a bit mental. <laughs> Long story short, I saved his ass multiple times. Should have Yoink. dropped him and let Abstergo have their way. Listen to you, trying to be all badass. So what happened? I have a gift, Desmond. I have a gift for seeing things, making connections. Like your regal vision, you know? Only useful. We offer oh. him a place with us. Yes, you did, yeah. The alternative? A life on the run from the most powerful organization on the planet. I decided to prolong my life. I'm eccentric like that, so I signed up. I've been doing research and analysis for them ever since. Best part is, I love it. Alright, Sean boy, tell me some more war you got there, my boy. Give me all the war. What's this for? I'm keeping tabs on the other teams. Other teams? The Templars have been hunting down the pieces of Eden using the map they got from you at Abstergo. Luckily, Lucy has provided us with a copy as well, allowing us to pursue them. And how's that working out? So far, so good. If they find even one of those pieces, we're gonna have problems. Oh, you're picking up on that, are you? That is why we're training you. Once you've acquired the necessary skills, we'll be able to send you into the field. And what about you? Why aren't you out there? I'm not out there, because my expertise lies in other areas. And to be honest, I prefer it that way. But make no mistake, Desmond. I'm an assassin through and through. I've killed before. Oh. I expect to kill again. It's just that I prefer not to. All right, Sean. Can I have like one more piece of war, please. Sean, give me give me all the war, please. Just tell me everything. All right, dang it, fine, Sean. Huh? All right, fine, dang, fine. Jeez, fine. All right, fine. <laughs> All right, sorry. Let's not screwing around. Let's go. Okie dokie. That was a lot of glory, though. <laughs> Alrighty. Welcome back to Watch Dogs, everybody. <laughs> I'm kidding. This reminds me of the base in Watch Dogs, whatever it's called. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right, just uh, slowly walking here. At, uh, I almost said that to you, Desmond. Taking all the time in the world, you know. Which is probably, man. What have you been doing? Like, oh yeah, I was just talking to Sean. <laughs> Getting all the lore, man. Sean of the Dead. That is. Oh, I can't actually run. Oh. So what's the plan? <laughs> We're gonna see what you've managed to retain. Come on. FedEx. Let's go. In the FedEx storage facility in Italy. Abstergo's out there, looking for us. They're better funded and better equipped, so it's only a matter of time before they find this place. 
We need to be ready for them when they do. I want you to activate the warehouse's defense. Why well, wasn't already activated? I'll let you figure out how to reach the sensors. Ah, uh, Lucy. Come on. Not even a hint. Open your eyes, Desmond. Yep. Very up. Hmm. Ah. It uh, uh, looks like you're having some uh, PTSD uh, over there. I'm seeing things. Do the hallucinations last longer than 30 seconds? No. no. Then it's nothing to be worried about. It'll pass. Ah. Horsey. So, how am I doing? Pretty bad, pretty bad. Every single one of Ezio's skills. The adoption rate is... What, his uh, skills are just running around pressing buttons? Alright then. Skills are climbing up ladders. Alright, you gotta tell me. Why Ezio? Why Italy? I mean, we could have just gone back to Altair again. Followed him during his early years. No. It started with 16. Ah, good old subject 16. He repainted my room, you know. With his blood. Hmm. I'd been going through his files. Vidic flagged a couple of his animus sessions. A bunch of different ancestors, different dates and locations. Ancient Africa, the Middle East. But towards the end, he became obsessed with Italy. I think he knew about the vault. A few of the records of his later animus sessions are missing. And the sessions that are there... After everything the Templars put him through, after everything I put him through, it's all scrambled. If we hadn't pushed 16 so hard, we'd have the answers already. Or maybe he'd still be alive. Nah, I doubt it. So you're after the Codex and the Vault. I knew you had an ancestor in Italy who was at the center of all of this. Oh, there it is. What about the power button? Can I press that? Haha, <laughs> alright. Uh, is that it, Lucy? Alright, I think we're done for the day. You should get some rest. Lucy, what happened to 16 wasn't your fault. You were just as much a prisoner as I was. Thanks. Good night, Desmond. I'm glad you're here. Mm-hmm. All right, time to go to bed. And totally not see a memory or anything. <coughs> All right. Excuse me, Lucy, you're too slow. Do you know there's a running mechanic in this game, huh? You want to try to use that? Jeez. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's go. All right, here we go. Jeez, what, what am I doing? It. Uh, Jeez, I'm used to saying it to you. Oh, something isn't right here. Desmond is very high right now. Desmond, that's more than 30 seconds, my dude. You're dead. Your brain is melting right now, dude. Oh, hey, what's up? Is this, uh, welcome back to Thief 2014, everyone? Last time we left out, okay. <laughs> Oh, it's you. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Desmond. Oh, he's so high that he went back to Assassin's Creed 1. What is this? It's Earth. Assassin's Creed 1. It's Adrian. That must be his target. Time to kill. Just having some kind of weird dream. Go without sleep. Who knows how long. Oh, this part is so awesome, dude. Come back. I wanted to kill you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hey, what's up? All right, have a good day, I guess. Yeah, I like how you guys are. Yeah, all right. <laughs> hey, where are where are you? Oh, whoops. Sorry, I'll catch up. Yeah, this is so awesome. I love how you get to. It's like one of the only times you get to revisit Assassin's Creed One. There's another time you get uh, more chances in Assassin's Creed Revelations, but I think that's about it. So that's really cool. It feels exactly like it too. Like, look at this. Exact same graphics. 
exact same feel. You guys can't actually like feel the oh. Wow. Sorry, sorry, man. She's very rude. I'm sorry. I'll uh, I'll pay for your medical bills. Since falling down in armor probably hurts really bad. <laughs> I would assume. Ah, uh, this is where I like completely messed up the game. In this part right here, I see if I can hopefully not do that again. Ah, oh, rude, so rude. <laughs> yeah, I actually did mess up the game in this part. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, good times, good times. Let's not do that this time. I broke the lamp, and then like some other stuff happened. <laughs> All right, here, this thing up here, I don't want to break it, but you can probably break it. That I broke that so bad it was it's funny. It's pretty funny. Look at that same music too, I think. Oh crap, I almost fell off and died. Probably gonna end up breaking the lamp again, aren't I? Hmm. There we go. I made it without breaking the lamp too. All right, cool. It was that one too. Like, I it broke so bad it was spinning around the tower. It's hilarious. I wish I recorded it. It was so funny. <laughs> Man, remembering that just brings a smile to my face. Alrighty. What's up? Hey, how you doing, Templar scum? <laughs> That's the woman from Ape. What's her name? Maria. Yeah. Oh. I wonder what he wants with her. Oh, this is how Desmond is now alive. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. Don't look at me like that, you know I gotta go, boy. Time to commit suicide. Wait, <laughs> I'm following Altair. Stuck here with Maria? Oh shit. That must be. Oh. This is one weird dream. Yup. <laughs> ah. Hi, <laughs> how are you doing? What is that? Is that a, is a horse? Okay. <laughs> no, come back. And that is why you don't do LSD. Sorry to barge in on you like this, but it's getting late and we will. Hey, you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, all good. Weird dreams, that's all. All right. I'll let you get ready. See you in a few. All right, see you in a few more. I see you next episode. But <laughs> ah, good of you to join us. Sorry, long night. What a professional! What a professional approach. Oh. Leave them alone. Well, you'll forgive me if I want to get some actual work done. Oh. Madness, isn't it? Sean, please. That's yeah, enough. Sean. Jeez. All right. All right. All right. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching me enjoy this episode. I'll see you guys next one. You got a lot of stuff done. A lot of cool stuff happened in this episode. Anyways, guys, bye-bye.